there is a surprise thing related to the money heist at the end of the video so do watch the whole video for the surprise thing Let's start making it. First, take the Arduino base plate and Arduino Uno and attach the four metal studs to the Arduino base plate. Now, attach the Arduino Uno on the Arduino base plate with the help of a screwdriver. Take the 1.3 inch OLED display module and fix it on the breadboard. Now for the connections, attach the VCC to the 3.3 volt of Arduino Uno and ground to the ground of the Arduino Uno. And for the SCL, connect it to the A5 on the Arduino and for the SDA pin, connect it to the A4 on the Arduino. Now take the three push buttons and attach it on the breadboard. Also take the piezo buzzer and fix it on the breadboard. Now make a common terminal for the 5 volt and the ground on the breadboard by attaching the positive and negative pins to the 5 volt and the ground on the Arduino Uno. Now attach one end of all the three push buttons to the common negative terminal of the breadboard. Now attach the other end of the uppermost push button to the pin 12 of the Arduino Uno. And for the lowermost push button attach the other end to the pin 11 on the Arduino Uno. And for the third rightmost push button, attach the other end of the push button to the pin 3 of the Arduino Uno. Now for the buzzers, connect the positive terminal to the pin number 9 of the Arduino Uno. And for the negative terminal, connect it to the common ground negative terminal of the breadboard. Now we are done with the connections on the breadboard. So as you can see there is a mess of wires around the breadboard. So what you can do you can use zip ties or double sided tape that I have used here to make this look good. So finally we made our Star Wars game that is X-Wing vs Death Star. So here you can see that we use three push buttons for playing the game like for the uppermost push button for the upper movement and the lowermost for the lower movement to moving the ship from up and down and for the rightmost button to fire projectiles on the enemy. So as you can see that uh, we can play it for freely and it looks easy at first. As you can see that for my every projectile that hit enemy I get 1 point and vice versa for the enemy too. So at first it looked easy but after every 45 seconds it goes to the another level and as you can see that now the enemy projectile speed is faster and the enemy is smaller too. Now it's time for the surprise part that I have mentioned earlier in the early part of the video and all of you have been waiting for that. So I hope you all enjoyed that.
If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and comment on the video which part do you like the most. Thank you.